In Austin, dining with dogs is nothing new, but in Georgetown, the city council there voted down a pitch to uh, allow dogs on restaurant patios. KXAN's Lauren Kravitz went to find out why, since one council member is already looking to revisit the issue. We rescued her at nine months. And ever since... Bonnie, are you my buddy? This tiny poodle mix stays close to her owner, even when he goes out for a meal. They're part of the family, and it adds to the family feel of a restaurant. Philip Duke is the bookkeeper at Opal Divines in Austin, which allows dogs on patios. But there are rules. If you bring a dog on a patio in Austin, you cannot put that dog here on the table. Servers cannot pet your dog. In Georgetown, where the measure failed, they would have had even more rules. Mayor Pro Tem Steve Fount is one of four city council members who voted against allowing dogs on patios in Georgetown. He says it's unsanitary. Not all dogs eat off the table, but you're going to have it every once in a while. You're going to have a dog that has an accident. And even though you clean up, you're going to trape some of that stuff through and it's going to get into the restaurant. Fout also says no restaurant owners have come forward asking the city to allow dogs at their businesses. By not allowing it, we provide a shield to restaurant owners to say no without them being blamed for it. Come see me. But Philip says these pups don't have to be a big deal. It doesn't have to be a health issue. We just uh, use common sense. That's something council members could reconsider in the future. As of now, these four-legged guys will have to find somewhere else to trot in Georgetown. Lauren Kravitz, KXAN News. Georgetown City Council Member Keith Brainerd proposed allowing dogs on patios. He says he may try to bring the item back to the city council within the next year. Service dogs trained to do work or perform tasks for someone with a disability are always an exception. But trying to pass off your dog as a service dog when it is not is illegal in Texas. A person who uses a harness or leash of the type commonly used by persons with disabilities who use trained animals in order to represent that his or her animal is a specially trained service animal when training has not in fact been provided is guilty of a misdemeanor. The penalty is a fine of up to $300 and 30 hours of community service. It is also important to know you cannot ask for proof if a dog is in fact a registered service dog the Americans with Disabilities Act says it's against the law to ask for documentation. There are only two questions you are allowed to ask. One, is the dog a service animal required because of a disability? And number two, what work or task has the dog been trained to perform?